Right, as you can see, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. We've got a new, have a look from this angle, two-wheeled toy. And it's not even a motorbike. We've got a, well, for all intents and purposes, it is, in fact, a cage trailer. Um, eight by five, but it's a bit special. We don't just have the ability to use this for going to the tip or collecting furniture. We can actually utilise it because we've custom built it through modern trailers here in Adelaide to carry the adventure bikes. Have a look here. As you can see, we've got these heavy duty tie, laps, tie, loop, tie loops and the wheel chocks. We've got three loops at the front, three loops at the back, two wheel chocks. I've already started stripping it off this morning. I've taken the gates off. I've unbolted these. These are coming out now. I can do it. I've not taken these out before. I'm taking these off. It's be good for me back. We'll take these, and these are going to go in the garage today. Now, we will experiment with that because. I can certainly get the cage on and keep it on with the bikes in. I've tried that, but today we're going to do it without. Now, one thing I haven't shown you, somebody mentioned it the other day on my Instagram, do you have a ramp? Well, let me explain something to you. We don't need a ramp. Watch this. What we do, if you come around here, we have a rather special bit of a kit. It's not just an eight by five trailer. This is also a tilt deck trailer. You see here, I unclip that. Same this side. And what this does, you see here, actually it's a three wheeler. I've got a spare. Are you ready? Watch the body, not mine. You can actually get a um, electric motor for it, but it's like $650. Is that at the bottom? No, nope, not, not quite. And I thought, do you know what? I don't mind winding it. And what you do then, He's dropped down your tailgate. At this point, I've already undone this, so I'll move this now as well. But okay, that's that out. So now we've got the tilt deck trailer. What I'm going to do is get the T7. Because this is the heaviest bike, I'm going to go to the right hand side so I can get off it properly. At this stage, I could, I could ride it on, but what I'm going to do today, let's cut the engine. So I can get a good angle of it, so I've, not, I've only done it once, so I just need to make sure things are nice. We're going to walk it up. Now, if you get close up here, watch the front, watch the front wheel with the chock. I've adjusted these to suit the 21-inch front wheel. See how it grabs it there? Leave it in gear, and what I'll do, I'll put the side stand down. It will actually hold itself up with that front wheel. Um, and what I'm going to do now is use the Pro Taper straps that I've got to start strapping it down. Um, all bikes are different in relation to where you can strap them. Um, I'm going to strap this down, and we'll come back to you shortly. Right, so we've got the uh, bike strapped down. Pretty sturdy. It's going to be an experiment. That's um, a case of now suck it and see. We'll go for a bimble once we've got it all strapped in place. Then we'll have a stop and a regroup, make sure we're happy with how the setup works. 
it may change but the the strapped in and uh, ready to go so we're going to put this back on, back away we may do an experiment later before we get when we get back later we're going to go for a ride today we're going to go for a drive find somewhere to ride and um also with that in mind then maybe get a bit of footage out in the sun today because it's, uh, it's a nice spring day when we come back before we take the bikes off i might have a look at seeing if i can get the cages back on i can certainly get the cage on with one bike but with the adjustment between the two different bikes whether we can get both the cages on all the way around that would be neat that would be neat if we could but I'm not worried it still works very well so that's the spoiled dog right so what we're going to do is get the straps in let's wind it back up again and get it back to a normal level and see how it works if nothing else i'll get some good exercise back around here Let's see how here I've got these to just that level here just make sure they don't get trapped as they get close we'll just like that one there and just drop it down below so it goes below the hook same with that one locked in Locked in. Take that tension there. She's on. We are loaded. That is how we load the bikes. Now, the reason we're doing this is because this is South Australia and it's massive. We don't necessarily need to be riding 500 kilometres north, which I'm doing in a couple of weeks to then start riding the trails. So we can take the bikes to the trails and not have to contend with traffic. Who wants traffic when you've got an adventure bike? Okay. I reckon that's us today, don't you? We'll go for a ride. Oh, moo cows, did you see them? Some what, what? Ah, oh, little calves. What were they? On the left, you just must have missed them. Bitterlands? Yes. I can look it... at them later because I've got a feeling in the 60 degree camera. Oh, yeah. If I miss anything, it's recording. Oh, there's a cow in the middle of the road. in the middle of the road. Well, he's a bull, he's got horns. Hell. There's bulls up here. Hello, Moo. Oh, you look mean. that's in the road. <laughs> Good work, it's the side of the road. I reckon that's only a youngster. And it's a bull. <laughs> it's got a cock. So is this one. See the horns on him? Hello mate. Fantastic. Somewhere up ahead. You never know, I might even catch my wife up. She's blighted along. 